Today we will learn about what is centimeter and why it is used. Chanda was so happy after learning from Appu about measuring length of things. She started measuring the length of everything with a rope. One day, when Appu came to her house to eat, he saw that Chanda has made a pile of ropes in the corner of her house. And on every rope, something like the name of TV, table, spoon, etc. was written. Appu was shocked to see this. When he asked Chanda, she told him that she had measured the length of various objects in her house with the help of ropes. Appu laughed. He asked Chanda a question. Suppose if you are outside the house and you have to measure the length of something and if you don't have any rope, what would you do? Chanda thought for a while but had no answer to Appu's question. Appu then asked her another question. If you want to tell the length of an object to someone and that person is not in front of you, then tell me how will you tell him the length of the object? Chanda also had no answer to this question of Appu. Do you have answer to these questions of Appu? No. No problem. Come. See what Appu is telling Chanda about these questions. Appu told Chanda that she can solve all these problems in a very easy way. With the help of centimeters, Chanda could not understand anything. She immediately asked Appu, What is a centimeter? A centimeter is a unit of measuring length. We can measure the length of any object in centimeters. And centimeter is a unit that is always the same. Now Chanda told Appu that she understood about centimeters. But how can she use it? And how can she measure the length of objects? She still has not understood that. What did Appu answer to Chanda? And how can we use centimeters to measure the length of objects? We will see this in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learnt what is centimeters and why we use it. In the next video, we will learn about some interesting examples of how we can use centimeters.